All right, so I'm back. Um, I know I haven't posted anything in a while, but, uh, you know, family stuff and whatnot. Um, currently in the process of changing careers and all that good stuff, but that's boring, so we'll get right into it. Um, you'll notice that I've made quite a few changes here. Uh, I've totally enclosed my little workshop area. Um, I, I don't have the generator uh, surrounded anymore to collect gases because I have created an entire gas reclamation system over here. Uh, the greenhouse is entirely done. So if we go over here, I will cycle into that. Wait for the airlock to do its thing here. And as you can see, I have the microwave, a packaging machine, uh, some grow lights, so we're growing 24-7 now. Uh, I do have another grow light here, but I haven't, I mean, it works, it turns on, it turns off, does, you know, light things, but I haven't made the second hydroponics unit yet to put underneath it. Um, I eventually am probably going to upgrade my hydroponics but I haven't decided if I want to make a bigger room before I do that or if I want to try it in this one first but um, I also have water back here and an ice crusher and I'm collecting water in uh, these bottles here as well as uh, I am running a uh, liquid wall cooler instead of your traditional wall cooler um, it was easier to set up and water is a lot easier to collect and use than say X as a coolant. Um, my heating and cooling is totally automated. Uh, I, I use these two systems here. I have one there and another one over here. Uh, I could have done it all in one setup, but that didn't occur to me until after I was done. So I kind of just rolled with it and it is what it is. It works. so. Uh, we got the fridge. Um, I have completely lost the corn, the mushrooms, and I believe there were potatoes as well. But uh, I've completely lost those, but uh, hopefully I can get those from a trader uh, later on, you know, when we get to that point and whatnot. Um, it's pretty much all the exciting stuff that's happened here. Uh, here is what remains of my poor potatoes and corn and tomatoes. Um, I, I noticed that uh, now when you start a game, they give you seeds uh, for almost everything except for the mushrooms instead of giving you uh, just just the vegetables, which, which would have been nice, but, you know, we already started, so we might as well keep going, right? Uh, the whole point of the game you get you get dealt some you get dealt a hand and kind of got to figure out how to play it um this tank here is filled entirely with co2 which is then being run into uh this pressure regulator here and fed in through these vents uh the room is pressurized to roughly 102 kpa it uh goes slightly higher than that 102.2324 it, it fluctuates around there um we're holding the temperature at, at exactly 45 degrees celsius uh again via these uh two devices here um so gas is pumped in does its thing and then it is slowly being let back out via this right here which is a uh, back pressure regulator. So I have that blowing in at 102 kPa, this sucking out at 103 kPa, and it is slowly filtering the gas in this room through my reclamation system over here, which I will go and show you right now. Uh, I can't get any seeds from that yet, so... Over here, wait for the airlock to do its thing. Alright, 
Uh, I haven't pressurized this room yet because I'm actually thinking that I'm going to expand downward and make uh, uh, a bigger workshop down there. And I'm going to convert this area into like a living quarters, most likely. Um, but, uh, oh, I have uh, some solar panels over here. And these are collecting the sun as it goes all the way around. We're collecting energy from the sun pretty much 24-7. Um, I have some on the roof as well. Uh, you can kind of see them right there. But it they're almost useless because they're only picking up sunlight when the sun comes up. And when it goes down due to this giant asteroid that... I failed to realize was going to affect the sun and uh, the, my, my only option at this point is to expand that outward or to completely get rid of this asteroid up here. Um, if I were to get rid of the asteroid I could hook these up with some better solar panels and start some solar tracking to have the panels follow the sun so that they're gathering uh, sunlight you know, during the, I guess what you would consider the daytime cycle when the sun is above us. But, uh, I, I haven't gotten that far yet because of this massive asteroid that is going to take forever and a day to clear. But, anyway, if we go over here, I'm gonna have to cancel that because there's no pressure in the room. And we'll fly out here. And if you go past my shitty furnace setup, you will see uh, this ice crusher that I used to fill these two tanks because I completely ran out of uh, volatiles and, or I'm sorry, I completely ran out of fuel for my uh, welder. So I had to quickly drop some oxide and some volatiles into here and I had a pipe that was running, uh, I, I ran it into the oxygen, ran the oxide, ran it into the, the uh, hydrogen, and ran the volatiles. So I, I have a little bit of those gases stored up. And then I put it into this gas mixer, um, set it to 66% uh, oxygen and 34% hydrogen. And I then ran that into a tank filler and filled up the tank on my welding torch here. And so we're good to go on that. Um, as far as the reclamation system goes, uh, any anytime I run machines in this room, uh, it is taking the gases from there and it is flowing them through all of these different filters here so I have a nitrous oxide filter a nitrogen filter and oxygen volatiles and X now you may be saying to yourself but wait isn't there carbon dioxide and the answer is yes so if you follow this pipe up and come over here I'm gonna turn the stabilizer on so that I'm not floating about um, that runs through our original uh, system over here um, you'll see obviously I don't have the furnace hooked up to it anymore uh, comes down through here is filtered through this atmospheric unit here and any excess any anything extra that wasn't caught by the filter system will just come out here so that I don't overload the system and explode or and you know blow it up uh, and then that CO2 is then transferred into this tank here. Uh, which you can see I have 4.83 megapascals of pressure. And then it is fed back into this room and so on and so forth. And it comes out through the pressure or the uh, back pressure regulator over here. And is then fed uh, back into the system. Um, one thing that I am probably going to have to change is the fact that this is a passive vent. So anything that comes 
down this line has the potential to go into the room instead of coming out of the room. So I, for now, am most likely uh, just going to turn this into an active vent that I can turn on or off rather than try and uh, do what I did with the greenhouse because I'm not currently pressurizing this room. Um, when I convert this into the living quarters and I move downstairs for the workshop, I will pressurize this room and add a back pressure regulator, which will in turn uh, keep all of, uh, you know, all of that uh, garbage uh, out of the room and, and it will not allow everything to flow into here. Um, something else that I'm going to change um, and is probably going to make my life a whole lot easier. I'm going to take apart my very crappy uh, furnace set up here and I'm going to move it probably somewhere over here and I'm going to connect that into my reclamation system so that uh, anytime I run the furnace when I'm done with it I can just vent the gases into my reclamation system here and that will uh, collect those gases. Um, anytime I need more fuel, I can just pull these two tanks off and pop these tanks on and uh, we'll be good to go. So before I do anything else, I'm going to check these filters because they're most likely getting low. Uh, let's see, the hydrogen's okay. I need to change the oxygen filters, the nitrogen filters, oxygen, nitrogen, and X. Okay, so I need to change oxygen, nitrogen, and pollutants. So we're gonna uh, cycle this real quick. Come on in here. And I don't have very much iron, which is an issue because I'm going to need it in order to do what I need to do with the furnace here. So I guess the first thing I will do is change Uh, I guess we'll change the pollutant filter first. Let this do its thing. Okay, and we're good. Gather those up. Like this. Fly over here. And swap that out, swap that out, and add to our space pollution problem. Alright, so now I guess we need to go on an adventure and find some iron. Um, I have found that if I leave the base and I go that direction, it yields me almost everything except for iron. Uh, I have found iron if I go that direction, so we're probably gonna go that way first. Um, I, I also am going to enclose this eventually. I just haven't done it yet. Um, I'm probably going to put a door here so that I don't have to go outside and fly over to the room every time I want to use it. Um, I can just, uh, you know, walk through the airlock like every other room. Uh, I just have not gotten that far yet because this system uh, kind of drove me nuts and then I had a couple of mishaps with the greenhouse and stuff, so uh, I just haven't gotten that far yet. 
Um, you know, I could solve my active vent problem, like right now. And of course, it needs the wrench. So we'll hook that up there. Put this vent back. And I'm going to need some cable coil. Do I have copper in here? I should have copper somewhere. There it is. Toss that back in there. Close this. And cable coil. Let it rip. that for my wire cutters shouldn't need a ton but I'm going to need more for the uh, evacuation system on my furnace anyway so I'll rather quite a few of these That ought to do it, at least for now. All right. Tie that in right there. And now, uh, I'll run the machines in here, you know, the, the gases will do their thing, and then I can hit this button, and it will suck all of the gases back out, and run them through my reclamation system there, and put everything into the appropriate tanks. All right, let's go solve our iron problem. So I'm gonna swap my battery. I'm going to swap, I think I'm gonna put a bigger battery in the tablet just so that it doesn't die on me while we're out. Throw the tracker in here. Throw a battery in the beacon. And all right, we're working. Swap that real quick. All right, let's go get us some iron, shall we? All right, let's step out here. And I'm gonna turn the stabilizer off. And we are gonna float off into the nothingness of space. This would be absolutely terrifying if, if this were real life. Like as a game, it's cool because, you know, I mean, if you get lost and whatever, you can just revert your save. But like, I'm not attached to anything. So, if, uh, if this were real life and I were to get lost out here, that, that would be it. I, I would just float amongst the stars forever. Until the oxygen ran out. Alright. Got some asteroids over here. They're rendering kind of funky. There we go. Uh, looks like ice and cobalt. That looks so weird. Come on, computer, you can do it. My graphics card is like, why are you doing this to me? Uh, more cobalt ice. Maybe some copper. 
Copper, lead, uranium, nickel, nickel, I think, right? That's what that is. Let's see what we got over here. Um, that looks like iron, I think. I was right. Alright, we're gonna turn the stabilizer on so I don't float away. Gather up this iron here. Iron seems to be the one commodity that uh, I, I have a hard time finding for some reason. Uh, I, I float around all the different asteroids that are relatively close to my base, and almost all of them have hundreds and hundreds of pounds of, of different materials except iron and it seems like every time I generate a world there's always that one resource that I have a hard time finding and in this one it seems to be iron uh, apparently there is not a lot of iron in this asteroid belt all right so I got all of all that I can carry and we're going to put the mining tool away because I have a history of throwing it off into space. Swap back here, turn the stabilizer off, and we're going to float on back to the tracking beacon. Uh, looks like I'm going to need some jetpack fuel here pretty soon, so I'll have to hook up a tank filler to my... Uh, nitrogen tank over on the reclamation system floating along I can just barely kind of see the base in the distance if I move around you can see the red lights and the blue lights the glare from the sun isn't helping but Come on. There's the asteroid that's causing me major issues. Let's see if I can turn this off now, I can see it. Everything is just randomly showing back up as I as I float closer. It's very dark. It's very uh, looks like it, it was abandoned, but uh, I'll I'll have to add some lights here at some point. All right, we're gonna cycle back into here. Wait for the hair lock to do its thing, and I'll start running this iron. All right, so as you can see, uh, when I run the iron, it starts producing gases in the room. And if we go to the good old stationpedia here and go to ores and go to iron, you can see uh, somewhere, it should tell me what gas is, right here. It produces half a mole of carbon dioxide and two moles of pollutant. So I will fill the room with uh, those said gases and I will then vent those gases out via this active vent here and they will run uh, through give me that. They will then run through uh, the reclamation system and... I will capture those gases and I can then use them for whatever purpose. Put that battery back on the charger. So we're gonna throw this iron into here. And I am going to need a whoops. 
volume pump. I need gold and copper. Let's see, I think I have gold and copper here. Yes, I do. Empty all of its contents onto the floor. Copper, gold. Close that. And, all right, now I can make a volume pump. Let's get that created real quick. And we will set this right here. Uh, I got a little overzealous when I was making the uh, reclamation system and I have an extra atmospherics and a bunch of tank connectors and some tanks that uh, did not get used but uh, like I said when I convert this area into a living quarters and I move everything downstairs I th these tanks and tank connectors and the atmospherics and everything will probably come in handy so um now i made the volume pump so i'm going to need some pipes start cooking that in the meantime and pipes go do i already have five these all up we got 20 got more iron I'm going to add that iron as well Pipes. All right, that should be more than enough. Hopefully, uh, I'll put these in the doorway as well. And now we need to take apart the furnace. So, whoa. Okay. I need the angle grinder. I need a wrench. Nope, crowbar. I don't know why it said wrench. All right, so with that all taken apart, get another these up. Gather my furnace. All right, so now you can see that I have some gas floating around in this room. Shut that off. And I will turn on the active vent. And I think I have the spacing lock. There we go. And now it will drain all of the gases out of the room run them through the system, and so on and so forth. So 2 kPa, 1 kPa, and zero. Stop that so that I don't overload anything. Um, I am 
going to do really quick. What's that? Uh, let's see. And why is the airlock not working? Or it is just very slowly. Hmm. That's odd. All right. Not quite sure why that happened. And everything in here is going to get angry because... Pressure's doing wonky things now. But, this uh, over here should take care of that problem. So, I guess I will put these seeds away. And let those continue to do its thing. Make sure that nothing funky is happening in here. Uh, nope. Still 99% carbon dioxide, 1% oxygen, a little bit of nitrogen, a little bit of pollutant. So, nothing majorly wrong. And the pressure is increasing back to where it should be, so... Hmm. Not quite sure why the airlock did that. Oh well, we have a furnace to fix. Alrighty. Like this. Alright. For all I know, that could be something that I totally did wrong. Uh, I, I have no idea. If, if it is something that I did wrong and someone has a suggestion, that would help me out tremendously. So I'm gonna take all of this stuff apart. Let's see here. Whoa. Um... How badly do I need that valve? Not very. I can always make more. So... Let's see, can I add these two? I can't do it like that, unfortunately. So I guess I'll do this. And that. And I am going to throw the that there, grab this, and head back out. Alright, so if we come over here, I'm going to place the furnace uh, I don't want it going that way. Come on. Hmm. Wait a second. No. Still not the way I want it. This placing system gets a little weird sometimes. Yes. Just like that. There, need a wrench, two iron sheets. Welding torch and two iron sheets. All right, furnace is constructed. So from 
this point, uh, you can see I have outputs, uh, two outputs, and an input. This is a liquid output, so anything that creates uh, water, I can connect this to and actually run it into a water tank. Uh, I'm not too concerned about that at the moment, but then you have the input if I was going to pump gas into it, and the output. Um, the output is what we are concerned with at the moment. So, what I'm going to do here is make this go around like so, so that if I ever need to attach the water pump, I can do that. And then going to bring this upward and run it overhead so that I can still easily walk around in here and when I have my uh, when I enclose this area and I have a roof and all that it will kind of just look like it's running through the roof to do this very quickly. Attach this. Do one of those. And I need the rest of those pipes. where I'm going to put the volume pump. Oh no, I'm back. I'm back. Got it. Alrighty. So, yep, that's the direction we want it. Just gonna turn this bad boy all the way up. Uh, when I get some extra materials, I will, uh, actually probably put the turbo volume pump on that because it will make things go a lot faster but for the meantime I'll just use the regular one I know someone's probably looking at this and screaming internally because it looks like a total mess and I'm aware that it looks like a total mess, but, uh, I'm still in the learning phase of, uh, trying to make, trying to make things work. Once I know, once I'm able to make things work, I will start making them look pretty. Okay. So now that I have that, um, anytime that I run the furnace, I the pressure will build up obviously and rather than just pumping those gases out into space I can turn on this volume pump and it will drain all of the gases out of the furnace and run them through my reclamation system so let's go check on I know I just did this but still check it anyway check on all the filters So I need to change the oxygen, the nitrogen, and the CO2 is inside, so I can check that in there. But I definitely need to change the nitrogen and the oxygen. Uh, 
All right. Uh, I'll check the CO2 real quick. Those are probably need to be changed as well. So nitrogen, oxygen, and CO2. So let's search for filter. Whoa. What in the world? There we go. Okay, carbon dioxide. One. And two. I guess that one didn't really need to be changed yet, but uh, I'd rather be safe than sorry. And oxygen. One and two. All right. So now that all of those are done, I'm going to go put these pipes away. Gather up my filters. Listen. Whoa listen to my battery scream at me for being low even though it's only at 50 percent uh, looks like i'm gonna have to change the filters in uh my suit pretty soon as well can i just kick these out of here not exactly but i'll throw them away later so fly on over here Swap the nitrogen filters out. Swap the oxygen filters out. All right, and now I have clean filters, ready to rock and gather up any gases. So let's see, that's nitrous oxide. Nitrogen here. Uh, I guess I color-coded that kind of wrong, didn't I? But, oh well. Alright. So I have only about 1.08 megapascals of nitrogen. However, the ice crusher over here does in fact gather nitrogen. So, swap. Oh, I already have the atmosphere analyzer. So you can see that I have 16.5 megapascals of a uh, little bit of oxygen and some nitrogen. Or I'm sorry, a little bit of water and some nitrogen. So what I'm going to do is go gather some more pipes and run them from that output to probably here roughly and then I can run all of that through the reclamation system all right so let's go get some more pipes and throw these out to float through the nether of space cycle this real quick We're in. Let's go gather nine. I'm probably going to need close to two full stacks, so let's do that. Gather this. Start making those. Oh. Huh. That's, that's funny. I totally grabbed the wrong battery. 
when I uh, swap that. There we go. Did I take a battery out of something? I'm confused as to why there's an extra battery there now. Well, everything looks good. Hmm. I don't know. If it becomes a problem, I'll fix it. But as you can see now, I have room here to build me a, a door um, so that I can get into this room, but I can also keep it sealed off from everything and I don't have to go outside in order to get to it. more. One, two, and three. All right, cool. Shut that off. And I think that's all I'm going to need for the moment. I could probably add a volume pump to it, but it's going to have the flow from the back pressure regulator to carry it out so I don't think that's going to become too big of an issue if I connect it here that pressure that flow should just carry it this way through the system and everything so uh, if it becomes a problem I'll fix it but I don't think it's going to be a problem I I do not want that going through that light. So I guess Hmm. This will do this. looks kind of like a total mess. Actually, it looks very much like a total mess, but it works. And like I said before, once I know how I can make things work, I will start making them look pretty later. Could put a valve there, but I don't really see a purpose in putting a valve there, to be honest. So, uh, let me make this quick. Actually, can I just maybe uh, ah, all right. I didn't have to connect, disconnect anything. So now, we come over here and gather a little tablet. Uh, it completely drained the nitrogen, which is exactly what I wanted to happen. So all of that nitrogen should now, yes, be in here. Cool. All right, so that worked exactly how I wanted it to. Okay, um, let's see, from here, 
I guess... I guess enclosing this would probably uh, be a good idea. So let's make some walls really quick. Just do its thing. Very nice. Alrighty. So, I'm going to need the iron that is currently in here. Something that else that I'm probably going to do here in the near future is I'm going to move uh, all of these uh, power controllers off the floor because... Again, I was uh, trying to make everything work, and now that I know that everything works, I'm going to move these power controllers off the floor and onto the wall, and uh, also probably add some floor panels so to just to make it look uh, a little better in here, because uh, right now it kind of looks like a giant cluster. So... Now, I need to search for some walls. Uh, iron wall. Go, baby, go. And of course, it's going to throw it right into my arc furnace, but that's okay. What I find odd about the arc furnace is that, say, like, I have this. I cannot pick this up out of the arc furnace for whatever reason. Now, if I were to do that exact same thing, say with the pipe vendor here, and gather these, I can pull it out of the pipe vendor, and it will stack, which which makes no sense to me, but, I mean, hey, what do I know? Uh, let that do its thing. Guess I can go check on those pumpkins now, huh? Hmm. And this seems to be not working again, which I'm quite confused by. Again, it's not a huge deal because I, I know that this will take care of it, but it just, it was working and now it's not. I'm confused as to why. Ah, because this canister has no pressure in it. Why does the canister have no pressure in it, is the question. Hmm. Gotta get those pumpkins, go throw them in the bridge, they're going to last for 40 hours. These ferns only have 4.2 hours left, so let's start throwing some of them. there so why does this have no pressure it's very odd because it should be taking pressure from this room it should be when I close this door it should be taking the pressure that is in here and pumping that pressure into this tank and holding it so that when I then come back, it will take that same pressure that is in this canister and pump it back over into here to bring the room up to the same pressure as out here and, and open the doors. So why that's not working, I am not entirely sure. I'm, I'm not quite sure what, what's going wrong there very odd because when I cycle out nothing happens it's 
Still having that weird jetpack glitch. I turn the jetpack on, and I, if if I don't come into the base and turn my jetpack on and then off again, for whatever reason, it decides to start making the atmospherics do wonky things. So it's almost like I have to either leave the stabilizer off or remember to turn the jetpack on and off every time I come into the base. Which, again, it, it makes no sense. I don't quite understand it, but... Alright. Let's cycle out here. Some weird bugs that haven't been fixed. Right, the first time. Alright. So don't want a window. Just want a wall. Come on. Okay, I am going to leave that for now. I'm gonna leave this open so that I can still get in here before I make this into a door. Do I want windows as a roof or do I want a regular wall? I guess just a regular wall since this is more so just a uh, gas room. See, having the stabilizer off makes life a little bit more difficult, but if I don't remember to turn it off, then I'm going to start having issues, so. Airlock's not going to want to work, and it's going to be a giant pain. I hope to gods that I'm not going to... run out of walls before I end this. Five left. Whoa. Okay, so I think think that's everything yeah I'm pretty sure that I have this all enclosed now. nope I lied I made, like, exactly the amount that I needed, except I turned these... into windows. Come on, let me have it. Let me have this. Give it. Very nice. Okay. Whoops. Should be four is what I used. Okay. So, I actually didn't have exactly the amount that I needed because technically I still have to close that off, but 
I'll, I'll open this back. Fly on back in here. Do that. Alright, so I'm going to need some iron sheets. And I'm pretty sure I just used the rest of my iron. Unfortunately, because I need to go on another excursion. That out. I have to uh, come up with something to do while I'm uh, floating through space. Uh, oh, probably help if I turned it on, right? There we go. I'll, I'll have to come up with something to do while I'm floating through space just to make this a little more interesting. I can, like, start telling stories or something. Just to make our time in space a little better while I'm floating through the nether. We watch as our base slowly gets smaller and smaller as we float away into nothingness. I could also probably gather up some um, a little bit more coal and make if I can get enough iron I can try my furnace out and make some steel which would be fun alright so we knew there was nothing on that one let's go check these out Yeah, I said it before, I'll say it again. I would I would totally be wrapping my pants. Like I, I love space and everything, but like floating out here with no connection to anything out in the middle of nowhere. Where at any point this technology could malfunction and I would have no idea where I was anymore. Um yeah, I, I would I would be freaking out if I was this guy. Just being honest. Now, if I was connected to something and there wasn't the risk of me floating away forever and no one ever finding me. That might be a different story, but... There's a little bit of iron here. Apparently I've been here before. Grab that. And that. And... I think... Alright, I'm going to turn the stabilizer on. i got to remember to turn that on. gather up this whole stack here. Alright, a full stack of coal. Now I'm gonna try to get four full stacks of iron because the iron to coal uh, production is uh, three to one, I believe. So we're going to make a, I'm going to need three full stacks of coal, or of iron, and one full stack of coal in order to make one large ingot. And I also just need some iron. So, looks like that has nothing left for me. Oh baby, is that iron? Please be iron. I gotta turn the stabilizer on. Look like iron to me. Alright. Oh, is this a joke? Did it tease me? It did. It 
to tease me. Wow. Unbelievable. You're useless. Oh, wait, maybe not. Okay, I apologize. I didn't mean that. Sorry. All right. That's a little better. See if there's any down low. Does not appear so. I really need to look into uh, the glasses. There's glasses you can make that allow you to see the different ores and stuff. I need to I need to look into that. I've heard they're kind of buggy, but better than nothing. Here. And need. Not necessarily need, but I want four full stacks. So I'm gonna actually nix that ice for now, because I can get plenty more ice where I am. Alright complaining about iron and not being able to find it and stuff and I've actually found a decent amount. Come on, one more little chunklet. There we go. Alrighty. Put this back at the belt because I like to throw things. And back to the base. Stabilizer off. Smart. One million IQ. Oh, I can see it. I don't need that anymore for now. Just barely see some lights over there in the distance. So I guess this these asteroids aren't as far away from my base as I thought they were, but you know, the dark, empty vastness of space makes it seem a little further. Alright, so I think, oh shut up, power is not low, it's at 50%. Should probably drink some water. That was odd, I don't know why it did everything like that. Alrighty, I think I'm going to test out my furnace setup for the first time. Alright, so let's do oxide, volatiles, oxide. I need two hydrogen and one oxygen. So let's do. 
four and two to start. Did I just watch one of those mount? Hmm. All right. Four. on the oxide. Alrighty. And the furnace is running. So now I will throw in my iron. And pull the lever. And we have an iron ingot. And now I will throw in All of this iron. And then coal. And... Hmm. Check the station PD and see what it has to say. It's probably a pressure or a temperature issue. Steel, steel, steel. Steel. Alright. 900 Kelvin to 100,000 Kelvin. Or. 900 Kelvin to 1,000 Kelvin, I guess? And one MPA to a hundred MPA. So we're at six seven thirty Kelvin. So I just I don't think it's hot enough, is the problem. So we'll add So I guess we'll add two more volatiles, one more oxide. My temperature go up. Hmm, it's odd. Probably not going to. Alright, now we're cooking. Okay, steel. It's exactly what I wanted. This. Boom. Alright, I got my steel. So now I can make my turbo volume pump like I wanted to earlier. But, before I do all of that... I'm going to need to drain this. So you can see, you know, I have my pressure, high temperatures, yada yada. Um, curious as to what the gas is with. Swap this out. All right, so I got a little bit of nitrogen, a bunch of CO2, some oxygen, some hydrogen, and some pollutants. All right, so now if I take all of that and I do turn that up as high as it'll go, on, should start draining. Yeah. All right, glad to know that I'm not entirely crazy. out of there and 
it's going to add everything to my tanks here. It's going up. I should, as soon as this is done and I shut the volume pump off, be at zero yet. We are not at zero yet. Almost. When this hits zero, should be any second now. Six, five, four, three, two. One. Zero. Okay. Shut that off. I should go check my CO2 tank. Because I don't want that to get over full and explode. It would be very bad. Okay, yeah. So. This is starting to get pretty full. I'm going to disconnect this. Yeah, that isn't gonna make it. Yeah, that's probably going to explode. So we're just gonna let that float away so that it doesn't explode Oh! Okay. Okay, so I've gone back a little bit further. And this time, before I do anything, I'm going to swap those tanks. God for autosave, sometimes at least. I'm gonna have fun trying to edit this one. Okay. Fly on over here. Disconnect that. Chance, dummy. That, okay, so that only has 1.3 megapascals of pressure. potentially explode. Right, so there is a little bit of pressure in there. So I'm going to drain that out first and foremost. I think I'm going to need to upgrade the size of my tanks. Because I'm thinking that that is a very large part of the problem. crazy around here. I think it looks okay. Put some bigger, bigger, better tanks together. OK. 
Okay. So that has no pressure in it anymore. Hmm. Why it just did that, I'm not sure. I don't think I had anything in there. But we're going to drain it again. Yada. All right, I'm thinking that after I get this steel made and I make sure that nothing is going to go kablooey, that that's probably going to be it. I was hoping to finish this and get this all enclosed, but uh, unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen today. drain this, I'm just going to have to drain it slowly. Alright. Two of these. Four of these. Alright, so we're at... Four megapascals and 1.75 kelvin. So let's do the steel first. Because I think iron can burn at a lower temperature. I think it has a little less strict of a range. Kelvin. Uh, ah, need to be it. Oops. Exactly sure why that happened. Um. All right. So let's try adding. One more of each. That did not do anything. Really don't want to have to add too much. don't want things to go kablooey. Alright, so I can make my steel. Let's do that. Make my iron real quick. Alright. Now... I am not going to drain this furnace yet. I'm going to let that kind of cool off for a little bit and see, rather than shooting a bunch of really hot gas into the system, I think I'm going to let that cool off first. Because that will probably take down the expansion rate as well. So... Um, I I'm going to play this smart. So, I guess I will, in fact, 
finish up the walls. This in here. Throw that in there. Make uh, that volume pump that I wanted. Yeah, I wasn't thinking of uh, the fact that, you know, hot gas expands like crazy when I when I did that the first time, and that was most likely the majority of my issue. So let's get some uh, uh I need sheets, that's what I need. I don't know why caps lock is on. Yeah, I'm thinking that next time I'm going to actually shut the system down and I'm going to exchange all of these for some larger tanks because tank size is obviously going to become an issue here eventually. I will have to see if I can find a way to uh, get all of the gas out of these tanks. It shouldn't be too difficult. It'd be probably kind of a pain, but I won't make you suffer through that. I will do that on my own time. I'll just show you the setup process. That should be enough. Uh, I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Start the, adding these walls. I don't actually think I need that. I think I can just place them. Yeah. in here still have to fly around oh man I thought for sure I'd have enough I guess not alrighty this will go solve that issue swap my battery out Two, four, six, it looks like. Like a couple of extra. I'm gonna need this. I get my volume pump all over the place. Anywhere near that furnace. You stay over there. Alright, so once I get this wall here closed in, um, I should, in theory, uh, get gravity in here 
and then I should also be able to uh, put a door here and be able to walk in and do whatever it is that I need to do in this room. But let's check on uh, good old temperature and pressure of this guy. Yeah, it's still going down. So I'm going to let this level out. But uh, I think that's going to do it. Um, next time, I will try to close this off. I'm going to add some bigger tanks in my collection system here. And uh, hopefully not cause things to explode again. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it. So I'll go here. Give her the good old save. Alright, that's it. I'm out.